Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's play her story. Let's go ahead and get started. Now if you're not familiar, this is a very different game than uh, than you might be used to. Definitely different than what we normally play on the channel here. I'm not... I know the basic premise of it and I've actually loaded up a little bit in the intro here just to make sure it recorded okay. But my understanding is basically this is kind of like you're a... a, a cop or a detective, you're investigating some old murder, as far as I can tell. Like I said, I, I kind of intentionally going into this uh, knowing as little as possible. And they definitely tried to give you the whole feel of uh, of an older computer. I get the idea that this was supposed to have taken place in like 1999, 2000. Some of the notes specifically mention 1999, so it's at least then, uh, maybe not very long after. You can even get the big screen glare, uh, like that. Do not adjust your YouTube. That's supposed to look that way. You can actually turn that off. Uh, and honestly, I like to because it just makes it very difficult for me to see. I kind of get that's what they were going for, but uh, yeah, it makes it quite difficult to see. So there's two readmes. I'm not going to read the whole thing. The beginning part's kind of just generic filler. The rest of this stuff does seem fairly important, so let me just read through this pretty quickly. A database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so that they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word, i.e., or uh, for example, robbery, into the search field. Click search, and the database will return all clips in which the speaker used that word. To narrow a search, use multiple words, i.e., robbery supermarket. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can e be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match. To store a clip for later reference, click add to session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click in the user tags box and type in the desired tags. For any further assistance, please contact your department's information technology representative. So that's that. This other one is pretty darn short. Here's the database. I filed a freedom of information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit, and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly these, those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97, but figured this would be enough. Take your time. Uh, there's also some little things here in the rubbish bin. I know it's hack.info. Those of you who've maybe been on the darker side of the uh, the internet, maybe picked up some software you maybe didn't have license to. That probably looks very familiar. Uh, I'm going to guess this is uh, okay, just some kind of game. All right, we're not going to bother with that. Uh, that probably some kind of Easter egg, though, uh, that I would imagine. You also have a clock, which I don't know what the purpose is. Again, it might have some purpose that we'll determine later on. And a DB checker which I'm not familiar with that. So already murder is typed in. So let's go ahead and do a search to get started. That's obviously how they wanted to get you started here. This is going to be very interesting. I don't know how well this is going to go. So um, I appreciate your patience as we, we try out this new type of uh, experience here. Let's go ahead and listen to these four clips. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? All right, so yeah, this looks like this was in uh, 94. I hate this date format, by the way. Damn it. Month, day, year. Get it right, rest of the world. So it looks like we have uh, June the 27th, 1994. I was like a sophomore in high school. Okay, that's, that's not really telling us much. Let's listen to this. Yeah, that's me. February? And that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? <laughs> Damn it! See, it's already throwing me off. I'm like, February? That was almost a full year ago. I was like, oh, wait. Never mind. Next. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. 
Okay. Wow, these are very short. Um, it's gonna be the thing that's gonna kill me is freaking uh, my memory. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. So that was, uh, I'm really bad at converting months, numbers to months. That was, uh, May, June, July? Yeah, July 3rd. July 3rd. July 1st. So yeah, here she's a bit, but they probably brought her in a whole bunch of times. She's different every time, almost. So yeah, this looks like the first one. Where, uh, obviously, he's probably very recently after he died. So this was, let's see, May, June, wait, yes, June. The 27th. So I'm going to guess he probably died earlier in June of 94. So let's, she said his name was Simon. So let's search for Simon. So there you have definitely a very interesting premise. Holy cow. 61 entries. Yeah, we probably got to limit that down a bit. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Hmm. So this is the 18th of June. And she's just describing what he does. And she was kind of talking like he was still alive. But why would she be in there in the first place if that was true? Um, Simon is six foot. Dark, oh, I bet he's missing. Hair, he's missing. build. Um, He's clean shaven. With his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, I bought a photo instead of a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. It's the Rockington Arms, the rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. All right, so we got Peter. I'm actually writing some of this down. I thought ahead, and uh, I got a piece of a pen and paper. So I'm writing some of this stuff down again, partially because my memory is so shite. Yes. There's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, climb the tower, save the princess. That kind of thing. What did she say, Amstrad? Yes. There's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know. Uh, interesting. And do not hit escape, by the way. That closes the hell out of the game. Which, uh, by the way, I know is annoying as hell. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? Okay, so obviously we can't go through all of these. There was one of these that I wanted to play to add. Is it this one? It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. I'm gonna add that. Looks like we probably can't save a whole lot of them. Alright, so let's check for missing. Probably gonna be a lot. No, really. So this is June 27th. So you need to start jotting these dates down. So, the at least early on, as early as we can tell, uh, six eighteen. I'm trying to write this down on a pad, and I got a cat in my lap, making it a little bit uh, difficult here. Six twenty seven. All right, it's going to be very difficult to keep up with all this, especially trying to commentate the whole thing is going to make it, uh, again, very interesting. 
I thought it made it sound suspicious. <laughs> it's not a normal thing to do, to drive to the other end of the country. I just, no, I wanted to keep it simple. I knew it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. Now he's... All right, so she talks about Glasgow there. We can also do our own tags. So I wonder if we can just, uh, like, put the dates on them. Maybe I, that'll help me find them later. Like, if I need to refine them. But I don't know how to tag every single one, though. That could be pretty annoying. All right. So she said Glasgow. Let's go f let's find out about that. Oh, wow. Ten entries. Hmm. I'll have to limit that down a bit. So I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north. Just kept going. Just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. What was so that but the, the end? Car, just had to sleep. Hmm. I was wondering if there's gonna be little hints like that, like you heard that noise at the end. I was kind of curious what that was. Anyway. Yes. Um. I got to Glasgow. I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has a really nice taste. That time... You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. What did she say that time? Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has a really nice taste. That time... You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Hmm. I'm assuming his watch is broke. And stuck on a time. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. Uh, I probably asked her there if, uh, like, if she talked to anybody, you know, anything like that. Basically, alibi. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash. Just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Okay, let's now... I'm gonna add that to my session. Let's search for Glasgow... Car? No, well, that's one extra one. I kind of want to keep them together. I'm going to guess I can't do this. I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to see if I can't do a search by the date. Hmm. I sort of did. But only one search result came up. That's interesting. How do you spell alibi? <laughs> Shit. I'm pretty sure that's not it. I need a spell check on all this. Ah, uh, shit. Alright. Um, 
I really want to get the rest of that stuff in Glasgow. Let's just search for her hospital. I'd like to find out more about if she had her records or whatever. I think this is the same day, right? 6.27? I believe so. I, I didn't write the times down. I should really be tagging these shit. I really should be tagging these as like Glasgow shit. Though I guess it doesn't matter. I can just search for Glasgow. Whatever. Ask the hospital. Damn it. I really want to find these, like, that are missing. I like how it's got the icon showing if you listen to it or not, though. Let's listen to this one. What is this? 227 and 94. Wow. Next year. And like I said, I'm just kind of jotting down the, uh, or wait. No, 94. Same year, idiot. Oddly enough, 1994 and 1994 are in the same year. Not a lot of people know that. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. We spoke him with the hospital. Yeah, there's got to be something to do with that hospital. I am totally not looking up how to spell alibi on my phone. Just to be 100% clear here. But I think, off the top of my head, I think it's this. Oh wow, what a good guess. Uh, so this is July 3rd. The day after that last interview. Clean. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror, her clothes. They're gone. We took him down to the cellar. We knew I, we had an alibi, and we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it longer. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. Well, that sounds kind of guilty. I kind of want to do it with the, the clad. This will do a few with this, but it probably won't last. I like. I mean, I like how you see the fluorescent lights. That's pretty neat. But like I say, it legit is kind of hard for me to see. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty big. Uh, I feel like we made a big step there. I sort of, kinda. Um, let's let's find more information on that watch. I'm curious how that, like, helped her alibi. Oh good, perfectly five, five, uh, entries. Shit, I didn't add that one to, uh... Hold on, sorry, real quick. I wanna add that to session. I'm gonna put this one confession. Confession in my new session. The meter of the music change. He was wearing, um, a shirt. The blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat, a long grey duffel coat, black pants in there. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. So yeah, it looks like June 18th is when she initially reported him missing. I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> we had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. I mean, it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. It felt like it was just me and Simon for that moment. Just the two of us.
Um, sorry, I was trying to find another piece of paper because I am quickly going to run out and I have a lot of stuff to write down. The other big question that we can't, we've got to keep in the front of our mind here is who that other person was, obviously. Um, so we need to definitely ask about the other man. Because I feel like there's more to it, right? Like, I feel like we kind of stumbled on the end. It's like, oh, well, we figured it. I mean, she comp she confessed the murder, right? So, I mean, I guess I don't know where to go from here. Well, other than find out the, the details, like who her accomplish accomplice was. Or, again, maybe there's more to it. Maybe, you know, who knows. Uh, that's one thing I want to do. Well, let's go ahead and listen to the rest of these. Yes, we'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. We went far into the beach and I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. <laughs> it was a love-hate relationship. Okay, so Eve is definitely a big one we want to look for. I don't know how many we can have in a session. Oh, I wonder if, like, you need certain clips in your session and, like, you kind of turn those in or, or what have you. Um, you don't want to close that either. Oh, okay. Oh, so maybe we're trying to find, like, everything? Like, all the different ones? I don't know what this means. Volume missing? One volume missing? Refresh? So wait, I bet you this is probably the very last one, right? I don't know. Let's check about this Eve thing. I'm curious about that. Well, my friend Eve. I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid. And she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, I really hate her sometimes. Ah, so then the next one was, yeah, we fight. Nah, you know. You know, kids. We're fighting and fussing, and, uh, you know, I kind of drowned her to death. Or tried to. Okay, oh my god, that's so much better. Yeah, sorry. Sorry if you want that authentic feel. But holy hell, like, it's killing me. Ah, okay, good. So you can kind of see. Right. So, yeah, these are all in, in order, obviously. So I guess the trick is trying to find them all. Uh, and then in your head, figuring out what happened, though... Again, right now it seems pretty self-evident what happened. At least enough to, to put her away. But anyway, let's keep listening. A police station. Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd save money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up in the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. You're kind of an asshole to your friend. There, I'm just throwing it out there. Okay, that was next. T Yikes! Wow, things things went uh, escal escalated quickly. To use that overused meme. Oh, Hannah, it's probably her. Huh. 
gonna search for her the tapping here in a second. We missed one. I wanna go back to that one at some point. Uh, we got seven entries on her too. Okay, this just got fucking weird now. So her mother called her Eve. I'm gonna guess a seven three. Yeah, that's down here. So did she really even have a friend named Eve? Seven three. Yes, this is what I want. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, so that was before all that. Unfortunately, clicking on this doesn't like tell you where they were because I'll never remember where that is. So. I'm gonna note here about lie detector test, but I want to find out more about this whole Eve thing. Let's let's focus on that. I'm, I'm getting too distracted by other stuff, uh, but I want to focus on on that. So where is this one? It's the same day, uh, July third. My name. That was the only question I failed. <laughs> Your lie detector works. So that was probably right before? Yes. That was right before, and then she says... My mother called me Eve. But if we search for Eve... I'm gonna add that to my session. I want to get these, these next two Eve. I wish you could take something out of a search. Mother called me Eve. All right, here's another one. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to take the story? It's a real life fairy tale. Yep. So we're we're on the right track here. But I can't add this, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. She wasn't my real mother. Um, when I was eight, mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. I had read a diary at that point, and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day, and I left. Walked out and across the street. Wow, there's a whole bunch missing in here. Try adopted. Ah, there's quite a few on diary. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. <laughs> a 
the hell? I kind of feel like I should be adding all of these to my session, but... Because I kind of want to play them all, like, in order. So that one was next. Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand, I guess. I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children, planned to have a large family. But her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her 20s. But, I mean, I guess it was different then. You know, you married for life and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. Oh wow, that's way further down. I thought we were pretty close to where we were. Just became my way of life. We would swap places and take it in turns to do things. And we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. I mean, it was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. And we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. Hmm. So I'm thinking this must have been like a twin. It sounds like this was her twin sister. And I'm also guessing now that the person that helped her kill the husband or whatever was the sister, and I'm wondering if he was abusive or something. Um, so let's search for sister. I'm still, again, I'm trying to stick to the same day so we can try to flesh this part out. Uh, when she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. I kind of want to listen to that one again. Maybe not immediately, but... Oh, wow. This, this was a long recording session. She sent him out of the house, kicked him out, called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Wow, wow. It's like next to the last. That also explains why she failed her own name on the lie detector test. Which is quite interesting. Um, I'm trying to... Alright, so let's look for uh, Florence. There we go. 
Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Gross. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is before, uh, I guess, the this Florence fell down the stairs and she's looking through the diary and whatnot. No. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and I'm going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of firstborn girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. Hmm. So only three entries there with Florence. See, one thing I don't like is, like, I want to see what this is. Like, I don't remember what that is. I wish there was a way to have it, like, show me which one that was. That made sense, because what's going to really suck is going back and trying to, like, put together the pieces, right? Of, of, of figuring out... Uh, like the missing spots, right? Um, anyway, let's see. I really want to flesh this out. We look, wait, we found too many for Eve, right? Damn it. Is that how she spelled her name? She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Has mentioned a few times. So let's look at the attic. That might continue on with what she was talking about here. Damn, 12 entries. Interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It's a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, and gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Okay. 
if there's any more to this moth story. Nope. All right, how about the dollhouse? The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hannah moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Yeah, I'm more interested more uh, in in that move as well. But it looks like that's part of that session as well. That is making the sense. Decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow, so we were separated again. I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It's like I suddenly didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognized me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was sex with strangers. Drug guys I'd met in clubs, parks and alleyways. I was 17. It felt like I was being punished. But it was Hannah who had betrayed us. I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. It's hard to come to look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? I mean, that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. And that was the plan. I bet you that's like over here. Yeah, because then I think this is where they start. They basically broke it to him. They go, oh, by the way, I've got a sister that because I'm guessing at some point they were probably both dating this guy, just like alternating in and out. Right. And then but she got pregnant, so she was trying to get pregnant herself, I guess, so that they could continue this facade, even though you think, you know, once she <laughs> you know, at some point, something's got to give because you're going to have different babies, right? So that's kind of effed up. Then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family. I couldn't have a baby in a bed set. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. Told her to wait for the time being. I want to look for preg then preg 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 ah oh, fuck pregnant ah oh, fuck no preg ah oh, I'm the worst speller ever preg pregnant no not pregnant that's not it I'm so afraid of the word itself I can't even spell it pregnant yeah there's an in there right no how about baby let's let's search for baby it'll probably come up regardless no wow these are older. Ah, here's one. It's like I told you before, I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. I wanted to think for some space between me and them. Everything I told you before is true. I stopped at Glasgow. I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out and I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to A&E to get the okay. 
everything was fine. I slept in the car. When I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a payphone. She wasn't answering. And then I decided to drive back. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. still pretty sick of the STD. When I came down one morning, they were dead. They were in bed and both had been sick. They'd thrown up a lot. And I'd slept through it. The police said it was mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. He, he used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. Well, there's no way you would have picked dead caps. But the police believe that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. See now, see like I'm trying to remember what was between here. So this was obviously when. Oh, you know what? This is after her. Well, not her mom, but the the wet nurse died, or the whatever you call it, the midwife, whatever. The midwife. Um, uh, I've got. I'm looking through my sheet here. I can't find her damn name. Uh, Florence died because she said when she fell down the stairs and died and find out the truth, she went across the street. So, I bet that's when she moved into the attic. Or, well, yeah, 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 well, yes, because she was like 19 at the time. Right, that's when she got the STD, was when she was like, or no, 17. So she, the, I guess the wet nurse or whatever, the one who had basically adopted slash kidnapped her, uh, had died before that. Now, how long before that, I don't know. And then she had been living up in the attic. Um, let's look for something obvious here. No? Damn. Uh, probably not. It's probably the only one. Well, in there anyway. Again, I'm trying to kind of stick down here and knock these out because that'll help me focus a little bit better, I think. I think this is going to be the better, better strategy. It's still killing me that I cannot remember how to spell. <sighs> Pregnant, again, I'm so allergic to that word. Hold on, give me two seconds. Preg Pregnant. There we go. Thanks, technology. P-R-E-G-N-A-T. Damn it. All right. How about... There we go. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. That's she another word I was about to look for. Even the first date. We went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. Uh. We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another card on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. After that, it was Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Ha. Broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. What? You can get pregnant after just once? Since when? Can you imagine? I 
tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys, men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. I think it was that time, the first time at the house, in his bed, that I got pregnant. Amazing, right? This fucking magic spare. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but three. I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. Just waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday, and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. I kind of want to see if she talks more about that birthday meeting. Oops. No, I didn't mean to do that, but... I gotta say, this is very interestingly put together. Like, I I bet it took a lot of work and planning and back and forth and back and forth trying to get the dialogue to be such that you could chop it up like this without ending up with a part that's like 20 seconds long where they don't talk, they talk in, or she talks in very generalities. Like, oh, I went to the store with him and her and, you know, we went over there, you know, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, with very general, like, pronoun type, like, things, uh, instead of specific. So I bet that took a ton of work to, to get that done properly. But, uh, anyway, so, again, I, I kind of want to know where this started. I think this is, this is where her, like, confessing, basically. Um... She talks a lot about being sick. Well, okay, apparently not as much as I thought she did. Oh, I wonder if I have it in my session, if it'll not show up anymore. More? That seems like that'd be a good way to, to abuse the system. Let's try that real quick. Add session. Make sure it's added. Now let's search for sick. No, it still shows up. Okay. Huh. Wow. It really feels like she talked about that more often. Um... Wow, well, okay. Uh, that's when she da, 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 three seven. Okay, this is all the same one. This is like must have been early on. Maybe this is when she started to tell the truth when they busted her lying about her name of all things. Yes, I'll take a lie detector test. Where are you? Wow, way back here. So I'm gonna think maybe this is next. I've never taken a lie detector test before. Yep, okay, that's her suited up. Then she lied about her name. I was also gonna look for some, like, like rage or angry or things like that to describe Simon when he found out about the whole two-sister thing. Or sisters, whatever. This was nine, about nine. No. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry. The kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing, she tore it off. Eventually, 
we grew tired of fighting and I left. I want to look for words like that. Uh, angry, furious, fight. Nope. See, okay, so like, not every word seems to be caught. Because she, pretty damn sure she said fight there. So it doesn't look like every single word was caught. But, fair dues. Um, dude, I think we searched for sister before. Yeah, we did. Um, we look for body too. I think I feel like we're running in circles here. Um, there's this huge gap. What was the baby's? Did she say the baby's name? Damn it. Especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. Do it now. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. No. Um. After that, we took it in turns that I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. Wait, we had some more before we leave this. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and it left her infertile. Felt like the universe had corrected its course. We were aligned again. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Derek had given him a full-time position after he left school. So then... And then what? Oh, huh. Shit. <laughs> One we've already gotten. I'm not. I'm not really sh sure what the session like. If it's part of um, like it's part of the goal for the game, like you're supposed to pick like really important ones, or if they're just for you to kind of help you sort things out. Like if you're like, oh, this one's important, uh, you can you can do that. I guess. Uh, can you move them around? Oh, you can. That's cool. So, as you find them, I guess you could actually get them in order, which is, now that I think about it, probably something should have done. Hmm. Maybe near impossible to go back now. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here. And, uh, we'll, obviously we'll, uh, pick up where we left off. I'm gonna still continue trying to get the rest of these. But I'm gonna take a little bit of time and write some stuff down on things that I can think of to search for. But anyway, Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.